Dragon Clash Crashers Rocky here today, and today we are going to be completing the Baby Dragon event. This is a shorter event, so I'm a little bit late to the party because I had the Town Hall 8 episode coming out yesterday. But we're going to be doing this event at Town Hall 9. We see here we get a 90% discount on our Baby Dragons, and we get 30 gems if we complete 3 raids, if we win 3 raids using Baby Dragons. So we're going to use an army of 16 Baby Dragons, 12 Balloons, a Zap Quake, and a couple Rages, and then some Dragons in the Clan Castle. It'll be a little bit of a shorter video. We're just going to do these 3 raids. But what we're going to kind of do is see if these Baby Dragons can kind of be used to like push up and maybe even farm some loot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to hit some higher bases, some max Town Hall 9s, some, maybe even some Town Hall 10s, and also see if we can get some Dark Elixir on these uh, raids because we always need Dark Elixir. Our heroes are up, we're getting ready for War Week over here in Mad Ram. It's gonna be a good time, but that's the battle plan for today, guys. Gonna go out, complete the event, see how viable the Baby Dragons are. Not sure how this army's gonna work out, but we'll give it a try. So hopefully you guys are pumped up for the Baby Dragon video. Make sure you slap a like on it if you are, and guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications if you have not done so already so let me go ahead and find the first raid i'll be back with you guys here in a few moments all right guys this first raid has tons and tons of loot available so we're gonna go ahead and go in on it i think i'm gonna zap out this air defense right here with the zap quake and we're gonna go in kind of on this side i know sometimes with the uh baby dragon army you're gonna want to use like a double zap quake but we're gonna kind of see how this works out we're gonna go ahead and throw in like three balloons there and uh, a handful of balloons over here get these guys going in and we're going to work our baby dragons around and start working on the percentage points. See if we can smack these Town Hall 10s for decent percentage, for decent trophies. And see if we can get some stars on them. We got plenty of stuff in here that we should be able to uh, be successful on them for sure. I'm going to go ahead and throw in these guys with a rage. These balloons with a rage. And see how that works out pretty well for us. Going into the sweeper, not a big deal. Get that down. 35%, 37 so we're looking pretty decent here. We haven't really pushed up the center too much. I'm going to throw in another baby dragon. I'm going to save that last rage for right up the center with the uh, clan castle dragon and the last few baby dragons. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, let these guys work out. So we're going to go ahead and go with the clan castle dragon, the last few babies, and uh, get them going in, get them raged up, and we'll see what we can uh, kind of work in here and then use our heroes. But this was kind of just my first run with this. Uh, wasn't sure how this would work out. Uh, dragons on the Dark Elixir. Oh, the Queen's going to pull him over, though. Should have poisoned, but not a huge concern there. Queen pulls him over. We just got to get 5% with our heroes. That's not a big deal. 4% with our heroes uh, because we can easily snipe out 4% with the Queen and whatnot. So there's a King in there. Uh, we'll throw the Queen in here. And we should easily be able to get our percentage points up. 48 49 on the air defense, and as long as the queen doesn't do anything stupid, we'll go ahead and get 50% on that cannon. Very beautiful. So that's what I kind of wanted to do. See if we can hit Town Hall 10s with it. And we got quite a bit of Dark Elixir with it, guys. So this was an army we kind of featured before. Uh, this was, It wasn't the exact army, but Baby Dragons were something we used before to show off some uh, kind of pushing army. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, it seemed to work pretty decently. Honestly, I think I might want a few extra babies and not so many balloons let's take out let's see let's take out that and uh we'll add in two more babies so we'll go with 18 baby dragons and then uh eight balloons so i'll be back with you guys here in a few minutes with the second raid all right guys we're gonna smack this town hall nine right here uh not only does it have 2500 dark elixir but it has 37 trophy trophies available uh so we're gonna go ahead and try that uh one thing i've consider about this army is maybe we want to use two zap quakes but i didn't really want to rely too heavily on the clan castle troops uh because i don't want you guys to have to worry about you know using clan castle troops for an event but if you guys want to i mean i think two zap quakes will be beautiful on this uh we're gonna go ahead and get these guys in here uh because honestly the two rages not really a necessity but the beautiful thing about this army is that it doesn't really use a ton of dark elixir guys so you can use this army and be pretty successful and not really use a ton of your Dark Elixir, which is always a plus. So we're going to get a nice wide funnel going in here for these baby dragons. And then we're going to push up the center with our clan castle dragon. You can get pretty much any air troops in the clan castle. If you can't get a dragon, maybe get more baby dragons, some balloons, a hound. Anything like that is obviously going to help out. But we're going to go with this nice wide funnel right here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a balloon right there. And then we're going to go ahead and rush the center with the rest of our babies and our dragon. Uh, so that should be pretty beautiful. 
Uh, that, okay, that loon didn't get what we needed down there. We're gonna wait a second, we're gonna wait a second. We're gonna try to get this out and see how that goes. That air defense, a little bit of a pain, but we should be gravy. We should be gravy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in dragon, and then the rest of our baby dragons, all of them going in, and then we will rage right about here, and we should be beautiful here to get into the center of this base. Then we always have heroes. You can always take out a baby dragon for a few wall breakers as well uh, to help get into the center of the bases. Wall breaker is always going to be a plus. Uh, but this one's not doing too bad. 63%. I'd like to get the two star. Maybe I should have funneled on the other side. But we're also going for that dark elixir and we are doing good on the dark elixir right there. So that is a huge plus. But I'm not sure that we're going to get the town hall here. So let's go ahead send our heroes in. Yeah, our heroes are going to go around. Heroes going to go around. And I don't think that we'll get the Town Hall, so uh, let's go ahead and poison these guys right here. For the last one, I think I'm going to try a double Zap Quake and see how that works out for us. And see if we can improve things a little bit. So we're going to let this King work right here. We'll throw the Queen in and uh, see how this goes. I did boost up for a little bit, so it's not a concern if they get knocked out. Uh, we can just get them regenerated. But this will be a little bit of a shorter video just to kind of see how this is going to work out. We're going to try it with the double Zap Quake after this because I think double Zap Quake might be the way to go honestly guys uh queen taking some heavy fire king doesn't know what to do king is really confused queen all right we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here we're gonna get out of here because these guys have no idea what's going on all right hold on hold on queen's doing positive things king is not doing such positive things yeah let's go ahead and get out of here guys let's go ahead and get out of here we did all right we won the raid let's try a double zap quick and see if we can improve getting to the center of Town Hall 9. So I'll be back with you guys here in a few moments. All right, guys, this base should be a pretty good test of what we're trying to accomplish here. And that's one of the things when you're starting a push out. Not that we're pushing on this Town Hall 9, but when you're starting any kind of push, you kind of got to get a feel for the army and see like how you can use the army, get the army to do what you want it to do, and uh, be really comfortable with the, your army that you're going to use. Uh, this base is going to be a little bit tougher, but we're going to go ahead and funnel out with the babies, no big deal here. Uh, pretty basic stuff right there. We'll go ahead with the two balloons in there, two balloons in there just to get the archer towers working down. And we're gonna go rush in the top side of this base here, which should be pretty decent. Uh, we see the balloons taking stuff out, but that's what anytime you're starting to push, you gotta find what army you're gonna use, how it's gonna be successful, will it be successful against 10s, 11s, higher stuff if you're pushing like as a town hall nine, town hall eight, something like that. And that's a huge part of the push, guys. So what we're going to do here is uh, let these guys work for a second and see if we can get a little bit more of a funnel established. I'm going to put oh, put balloons right into the sweeper. I didn't even see that sweeper right there. Uh, we can get this archer tower taken out right there. Uh, there's some free buildings down here, which will be good. And that'll work up our percentage points, and then we can rush towards the town hall with the rest of everything and see if we can get towards the two stars. So that'll be beautiful and let's see if we can make it happen guys see if we can make this happen uh i think we're gonna go ahead and put in the king and queen right here just to help funnel out that side just a little bit more here uh so king and queen gonna work out which is gonna be great uh help them funnel everything we see that power core of teslas uh coming up which pretty expected i mean on a base like this a ton of teslas in the center makes a ton of sense and then we're gonna go ahead and go in with our dragon and our balloons and see if we can make a push into the center of the space i don't know how this is going to work out i've never really pushed with baby dragons i haven't used baby dragons a ton uh but it's a pretty interesting army i've seen plenty of town hall nines be very successful with it uh we're soaking up tons of air bombs that's not good but i think this is something you guys can use work with maybe get it to your liking uh we're on the town hall there which is beautiful see if we can get it get the town hall down get the two star uh and that'll be the main objective when attacking a Town Hall 10, is getting the two stars. So that actually worked out pretty decently there for us. Uh, we didn't get the Dark Elixir, but I think Baby Dragons as a push army still very, very viable. Uh, just based on attacking this Town Hall 10, you should be able to attack pretty much any Town Hall 10 and get 50% with it with your heroes, to be honest. I mean, even with low heroes. So we're not pushing, but I mean, I wanted to have some fun with this event. Do something a little bit different, see if this army would be decent for pushing. Uh, I did want to try to get Dark Elixir, but that's not a huge concern. Uh, we got 15 trophies there, not too bad. So if we were pushing, I mean, that would be a really positive gain. We're going to go ahead and get our 30 gems and our 100 experience for completing the event. And a nice little short video today, guys. So hopefully you have enjoyed this. I might have another video coming out in a little bit on Twitch and YouTube, an upload uh, kind of announcing what's going on with the streams. Things will be changing next month. 
and we will have a stream tonight on YouTube for Clash Clans, guys. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you have not done so already and turn on those notifications so that way you know when all the new videos are coming out. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bash.